All right, what's up YouTube? Welcome back again to my channel. And uh, as promised, this video will be all the pickups I got during my Japan trip. And as you already see, I got a full pile right here. So I will try to get through this as fast as possible. So, um, and also I might do a part two video, just uh, you know, talk about a little bit like knowledge or like tips if you're trying to or interested in buying or you know lining up for Goros and uh, all right without further ado I will separate into you know tops and bottoms and bags and last thing about the shoes so so first item I actually found this one uh, in the store called what's up in Harajuku so this is a vintage Budweiser shirt and the most iconic part is like they have like all the Budweiser label in the back all the way to like 1995 and also the other thing like draws my attention is this like a beautiful cyan blue color with a little like a pigment dye with this purple and you know pinkish color <coughs> and this shirt is actually uh, on a foot of loom tag and as you can see, the color is all freed up already, and so it's very, very soft and comfortable. I, I bought this one for, I think around like 60 or 70 dollars. Definitely my favorite vintage shirt. All right, so next up, it's a shirt or a kimono shirt. Uh, I bought from Capital. So this is from their uh, Capital Country line. So it's similar to uh, you can you can understand it like this way. Similar to you know Vsim have the ICT line, so pretty much the same scenario. And um, actually, I've been eyeing this uh, shirt uh, since last year, and uh, I was trying to get it from a proxy, but I didn't. You know, I was too concerned about the price. So when I go to the capital store, I didn't you know expecting they still having this. So and after. Talking about the salesperson, they actually like reissued uh, this shirt. And the most iconic thing uh, on this shirt is definitely this like two-tone corduroy color, and with like light olive and the dark brown, as well as with all the you know the patchwork with you know red bandana and you know the denim. So it's just very very beautiful and well made. And um, besides the color, there's really not much of details. There's like uh, some red stitch going around here. It seems like there's pocket being removed. And uh, besides that, it's just very deep, dark, indigo color. And uh, at the price on this one, I think is around like 280 uh, after tax return. So definitely much cheaper than you know the proxy services. And next up, uh, so actually I've been eyeing the same jacket uh, in a different color, in the gray color on Essence uh, last year. But that jacket didn't end up on sale for a lot of you know, discount. And retail price on Essence was $700, which is pretty steep. So this is actually from uh, uh, Izumiyaki on Plissy. It's actually a pleated fleece. So, um, it's a similar material to the current Uniqlo Engineer Garment collaboration, but much thicker. And uh, so I found this jacket in the you know the buy and sell store I mentioned during my last video. So the, I found this one in uh, Second Street, Shinjuku. So and I was very very happy. And, and this is actually a size two. Surprisingly, it fits me perfect. So and I haven't talked about the price. So I paid. Uh, I think like 190 or 200 for this one, so definitely a steal, you know, comparing the original price tag. Alright, um, next up, so I bought this one, but it's actually not my size. So uh, I probably will just sell it off or, you know, give to one of my friends, maybe. So this is, I would say, this is definitely considerable uh, arcade piece, you know, if you put it on grilled, maybe. So this is actually a Dries Van Noten uh, backzip 
Kurnak. I think it's from like 2015 or 2014 season. So it have this like zipper from you know all the way from like two two sleeves. Both the two zipper head is actually really M4, so very smooth, great quality. And if if this is my size, I definitely will keep it. Next up, another item from Ismiyaki on PC. Uh, this is a short I think from previous season because like I actually bought the spring summer short from this year, the charcoal colorway. But that short is actually like a one size fit tall, and it's very very, very corked and all the way above your knee a lot. So I really don't like that fit. I end up sold that short. So this short is definitely more a regular cut and also I think the tan color is pretty rare as well and uh, I found this one also at one of the buy and sell store called Kindle. Um, this one costs around like I think like 170 to 180. Alright next up. So uh, a pair of uh, cargo pants from I'm not sure I honestly not sure if it's like authentic or not, if you guys can tell me. But from the material itself, I think it's pretty much legit. So I got this like Dolce and Gabbana cargo pants from uh, 2nd Street in Harajuku. And so one thing to notice is just like a very washed up, like almost almost charcoal gray color. But it's being like almost teared apart. You can see the crotch patching right here. And also there's a lot of like uh, just repairing in this pant. I'm not sure how. Like there's like a lot of like a huge drag happened in the hem as well. So and besides that the most interesting part for me is just like like a rectangular block around the side area. And it's just very interesting cut, I think. And when I'm wearing it, this two black really pops out. And uh, yeah. And another thing, like the one thing I think is maybe it's legit, just because like it's actually using the Lampo zipper. And as well as the material is actually very, very nice. It's a super soft, smooth cotton, have a little bit stretch. The reason I was not sure if it's authentic or not is just because of the price tag. So I paid I think like a 60 to 70 bucks on this one. Yeah, a little bit cheaper than I expected, but maybe considering the condition is been destroyed. Uh, jumping to the next one, another pair of uh, cargo pants. So if you see the tag, you might know this is actually a decommissioned line from Ralph Lauren, so it's a rugby by Love Ralph Lauren, which is you know all you know how Virgil got out his you know flannel from for for Parix. This pants is just uh, have this beautiful washed up sage green color, and uh, there have there's a two front pocket on the side, and also two pocket on in the back. Overall, um, very beautiful pair of pants for sure. There's, it's definitely a steal on this one. So this one is a 4,000 Japanese again. So around like a 30 to 35 dollars. I gotta talk about the vintage Levi's. So I do watch you know Ken's video about the vintage Levi's shopping in in Japan, and luckily like. He he came out that video right around the time I was I was arriving in Japan. So here's the uh, one pair of like vintage Levi's I got from H U T N Youth. As you can see, a uh, very beautiful wash and uh, just uh, like a detailing patch on both of the knees. And the most thing catching my eyes is just you know the whiskering around the side and uh, around here. And also, you know, the the patchwork around the knees. So um, this one, this one cost uh, like, uh, eight thousand yen, so something around like seventy to seventy five dollars. For vintage denim, I would say Edge Between Use is uh, probably the the best choice because it saves you a lot of time. So pretty much all their item is being curated, so they sell. Uh, little bit higher than you know the cheapest you can find but still 
all the watches and the fit um, they definitely have the better selections uh, so next pair is another pair I, I got in Chicago Harajuku so as you can compare you know the price difference so this one is probably around 40 to 50 dollars so you can see the difference uh, around these two so this one is just a plain stone wash denim um, just not a lot of detailing so the reason I picked this one up is actually I think this one fits me a little bit better and also you know it's the price it's just uh, it's just really really cheap yep that's just the two pair of uh, vintage Levi's I got definitely shout out to Ken and uh, all right next up uh, is some bags I got during the trip. So first one, very simple. It's uh, from the North Face Purple label. It's actually a, a tote bag, but with like a deal zipper on top. Yeah, the retail price on this on this tote bag is uh, around seventy dollars. But one thing to be noticed, I think, uh, Purple label is actually exclusive to Japan, which is pretty sad. All right, so next up. I have this smaller uh, shoulder bag, also from like the North Face Purple label. Um, actually, same price uh, with the bigger, large tote bag, because this one is actually featuring this like X pack material, made it like a little bit like waterproof. The design and the size of this bag made it more like a tech wear item. So, um, lastly, uh, we have this uh, 20 liter. Kodora backpack from Vizvin. Uh, I bought this one in the FAL store in Tokyo and uh, I was actually, uh, the reason I'm buying this actually I'm relocating to Seattle for a new job and I was looking for a laptop bag and can also, you know, suffering in the rains and all that and definitely this one is on top of my list and another reason is like buying Things like this is definitely much cheaper than you know even buying brand new in the states. So this one, uh, after tax return, is around six hundred dollars, and the backpack rarely get discounted. That's as far as I know. So not a lot to talk about on this bag. I do believe there's other YouTubers doing the review on this bag. So it just have like a really nice, the full very soft leather in the bottom so this gives you a little bit like a waterproof ability and a very smooth zipper I do believe this bag will hold up well during the time I think I talked about it before in my channel but this is actually a re -app. so a double up so I actually had this pair uh, actually haven't wear that one and somehow like they just reissued or like restocked the whole Comte Gasson Vans again. Uh, there's the one black version and this is the wet version. So this one is definitely much better looking than the you know the CDG CDG Vans collaboration. Uh, it features all you know the scribbles from Comte Gasson. Yeah I just I'm just really happy to come across this one. Actually uh, this size 11 I can fit it really well. Maybe this shoe just fits smaller than the normal, you know, Vans Vault Authentic. The price, originally price tag on this, I think is like around 130 to 140 US dollars. So last but not least, we have this pair of like Nike Terminator from 1984, if I'm correct. So um, the re I also got this one from the store called Second Street in their vintage floor and if I'm correct this is definitely from the OG year when this came out which is like 1984 uh, one year before the Air Jordan 1 and the reason I got this one just the color is just the same almost the same to the 1985 neutral gray Jordan 1s and also the, the price spread on this one is definitely a steal so I'm not gonna say how much but it's very very cheap comparing to the Jordans. Overall the condition I would say is decent. There's definitely not a lot of wear and uh, 
It's hold up very well considering how old this is. It's definitely like one of the most excited pickup, you know, during my trip. So because I I went to see a lot of like a vintage store, I see like 80, 85 Royal ones, I see 85 Chicago ones. A lot of them either is like overpriced or like the condition is not really wearable. So I would say it's really hard to come across a pair that, you know, in decent condition and happens to be my size as well. All right, that's everything I got from my trip and uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.